Well, cheers and welcome to From Behind the Barcast, the podcast for bartending service industry, drinking in general. I know we sound a little weird right now. If we you're, might, a little bit. <laughs> if you're just listening. Because we're at Studio East at Clint's house. Why? Can't tell the background has not changed a little bit. <laughs> uh, if you're watching on uh, Spotify or YouTube, um, the reason we are here is because, unfortunately, my AC said, see you later, bud. A, see you later, bud. Yeah, we, we, we didn't realize that one of the most important things we needed was the electricity. And then it was actually air conditioning. It was up on the high on that list of things you need to shoot a podcast where you drink and, you know, enjoy. I'm, I'm a simple man. The ceiling I'll, fan is nice. The ceiling fan is really nice. But I am a simple man. I like lollipops in my mouth, butter in my ass, and, <laughs> and AC while I'm drinking. We're and, drinking tonight. And what are we drinking? Packers having a Tecate with salt and lime. Mm-hmm. And I'm having in my only... <laughs> my only glass oh, waiter. Other glass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm having a margarita with uh, some tequila and stuff. Mm-hmm. Wait, a margarita with tequila? That's crazy. Yeah, well, because we're going to have some fajitas here in a little while. Mm-hmm. It's uh, Mexican Monday here at Studio East. Yeah, so we, I guess we just decided um, there, there's absolutely no way because I tried to work on my AC a little bit today in my house. <laughs> you know, there's nothing you can do in there. So we no. come over here to the nice and cool, and I was like, well, we might as well have dinner. So we made a Mexican, and it made me think. Uh, What's we started having these tecates here, and with so much salt and lime on the top of it, it's like what tecate is one of those beers for you can me. Add stuff to that makes it. I mean, tecate's fine. It's fine, but lime and salt. Lime and salt. Come on, and the more salt, the better. So, you guys, what are your uh, additions, accoutrements? Yeah. Uh, the, just the, comment, the, comment on YouTube, it'd be even better, and say which, which beers do you like that you can add things to. So that we what can, do you add to them? Yeah, so that we can talk about it next week, because this week's going to be very short because of this format. So let's get some let's get some stuff out of the way. So next week, uh, we, you know, we're going to talk about the epic, the epic journey from Nomad Wineworks, which Celia, who's gracious enough to send us not one, but two packages <laughs> of both wine and, and gear. We'll get we'll go through that whole trial next week. It's a, <laughs> it's a whole lot of sandwich. Yes. And we'll talk about our Miles Monday we had last oh. Monday when the crew went out. Uh, the whole crew for the first time. First time, the whole crew together on Miles Monday. Yes. And uh, just a little tease of how it went. <laughs> Your boy Clint's been drinking tequila and soda lately. So I was like, I'll have a tequila and soda. And one of our favorite bartenders at the Windrose, Miss Patty, pours a stiff cocktail. Stiff, stiff, stiff. And I was Casamigos in soda. And I was like, I'll go high in there because it's cheap there. And I was like, I'm going to need a little soda, more soda side. She's like, oh, really? So then time goes on. I ordered my next cocktail. She doesn't even... Ask. She brings me my drink with a little eight ounce cup on the side with two limes on it. He goes, That's just soda for when you turn into a little, a little, little helper. Yeah. That was her shade cup. It was, ooh, it was, it was so, it was so well done. I, look, here's the thing nobody else saw it. I was like, No, no, look at it. Look at I'm being shamed. <laughs> Everyone look at me being shamed right now. The subtle shit. All right, so when people spill their shit, yeah, this literally happened to me last night. This guy had his beer and there wasn't a kid around, there wasn't a dog around. He wasn't drunk. The dude was like 60. Somehow, in some way, he knocked his beer over. I saw it. I didn't tell anyone else. I went and got him another one in a plastic cup, you know, because it was a draft, and I put one of the to-go lids on it and just slid it in front of him. I like that. Only his wife saw, and I wasn't even trying to get her to see. Uh, That's good stuff, though. But but we were at uh, Winrose and Sandbar last week for Miles Mm -hmm. Monday, which we'll tell the whole story later, but uh, we ran into... We went to what I found out was more than likely an undercover cop. And uh-huh. we made the connection with pocket jerky. You remember pocket jerky? Yes. Pocket jerky can help you in so many ways, including divulging who the police really are. Remember last week we talked about how can you tell if someone purchases drugs by going into their text mm-hmm. messages? <laughs> if you want to find out who undercover cops are, walk around with a pocket full of jerky. Pocket <laughs> really does, jerky. Yeah. Pocket so jerky. In that, um, my Darren is his AC unit. <laughs> so, uh, 
So I have a Karen for this week, but we're not going to discuss it here on this funky format because, you know, we take a, a better pride in how it sounds at least. Yeah, it normally, if this honestly, this phone right here probably looks this is going to look great. I think probably looks a little bit better, and just to be meta with it, um, yeah, we've got we've got we've got uh, Ke- we've got Kelly looking like Michelle Pfeiffer on that movie <laughs> about the substitute teacher, Dangerous Man, and we have a, a, a little, and we have Dooley, the live studio audience, the yes, best. Yes. Hey, yeah, so sorry hours. we can't give you a full bit of content this week, but we are going to give you something kind of special. What we're going to do is we're going to sift through some of our Patreon stuff that's not too spicy. Well, some of it may be a little appalling, some may be a little <laughs> disgusting, and a little disturbing. So when this is all over, just be forewarned, there might be some stuff there, might be some... Some NSFW, as it yes, were. Yes, yes. <laughs> put the kids to bed. Uh, and we're going to try and just... Uh, so we're just going to pull a few clips from Patreon's past that aren't so incriminating to us or our listeners, maybe. Yes. But are still fun well, stories. Maybe us. No, maybe yeah. us. But are still fun stories that you can listen to only if you go to patreon.com forward slash from behind the barcast. But with that and outside of that, thank you guys for understanding. Yes, the AC is important. You don't have you have a you know, a Karen there? Uh, I have a Karen. You said you had it, you wrote it down. You know, oh I well, no, 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 just I'm just save, save, save oh, my oh, Karen for, for save my Karen well, for next week. It was a rainy Karen. We're too much time in post production setting. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm ready to go enjoy some fajitas. But now stay tuned after this for some of that Patreon content. And again, thank you for your continued support. Sometimes we wanted to put something out for you. Sometimes things just happen. But uh, enjoy the rest of your week. And we love you. And we'll see you next week. See you next week. You could move their arms and legs. And there were the, you know, the saxophone grape and everything. And oh, the- man. The California motherfucking raisins. And yeah. so that was like a whole thing. And that was my jam, dude. All right. So I would be, I'd be in my room at five listening to either Michael Jackson or. Yeah. <laughs> my first real jam when I was super young. Born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And one of the only times I got. The, the uh, boss. That I got. Uh, what's it called? Corporal punishment from my dad. That's where they. That's where they spank you and beat you, right? Corporal? Capital is the death Cor- penalty? Corporal, here. here. Okay. Uh, so, Born in the USA was in my head. I just loved it. And my dad had some friends over, and I'd just gotten done with bath time. So, I ran out of my bath naked, and I started, strum- I started strumming my penis and balls. Going, Born in the USA. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about this life right now. <laughs> I'm going to go home later and play Born in the USA and strum my dick. When my dog goes, I need to move. <laughs> and now a follow-up to episode 116, Darren Wants a Divorce. The rest of the story is real. Together now, like a nice red... So we left a quite peaceful Karen, or not Karen, just Darren story. She wasn't... I don't know how much she cheated on him, so she could have been a Karen in some ways. But I just know that... You know where it was not a good place to have this conversation? In a restaurant. On your two-year anniversary trip. So you saved that, Karen, from last week, and I didn't know how hard it would, like... It's, I, I've been sitting on that, Darren. That didn't count. That didn't count. <laughs> so, you know, so you're worried about that, girl. I was. I mean, I, I, they, they left, and they cut through... They walked through the fucking house has a partition on... Uh, well, fuck it. Damn. <laughs> hey, hey Patreon Damn. listeners, you know what you get? To know where the fuck I yeah, work. Yeah. So Damn. there's a partition between two of the dining rooms, and some servers open it up so they can use it to cut through. But then the table on the other side doesn't like it because people are walking there. I like it. It's like, it saves a little bit of time. They, the prison is not open. They go through, she goes through it. He is following her. And then there's like a desk where we store stuff. You can, it's like this, like a half a foot of space. And she goes through it and her big ass belly gets through there. And like, and she was hot. She was hot. Yeah. She was a MILF. And before I knew she was a mom, she was, yeah. she was a, what, an ILF. Um, <laughs> I'd like did, to fuck. Did, did. Didn't a MILF. Didn't know mom. <laughs> I was just, I, 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 ilf. I Elf, like to fuck. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> so they cut through and she's, I mean, she's head down. She's tearing and she's trying to like have her hair in front of her face and she, they walk out. And so I look at my outside table. Yeah. yeah. So I've been com- commiserating with them out and I'm like, and so they're, I'm, these are the two lesbian chicks. I'm like, I wonder if they're going to follow this guy. So she kind of walks, you guys, he stretches out there and like slow down and she just slows down. Like her hands are down. Like she's, she's completely subservient. Uh, and I watched him. I was like, I'm going to watch him to the tunnel. And if he hits her, then yeah. I'll. You could tell that's. Somebody not, talk me out. Uh, you could tell that's not the first time that they've had that dynamic where he is the uh, 
the overbearing, like, hey, slow oh, down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just, she, all his all, posture, her posture. All the signs of a battered wife. Sure, yeah. If, if it, maybe it's just emotional. Or at least emotional, abuse. Um, emotional but abuse. Th- yeah. The way he told her to sit back down, I was like, he has definitely hit her at least once in front of their kids at church. Or pushed her against a wall or something. Uh, before we get into this ketamine trip, <laughs> I was at the... Well, speaking of church, leaving the church and going to prom. We all went to prom. Or did we? Here's a little sneak peek of last week's episode on Patreon. <laughs> senior year? I don't want to go to prom. Yeah. I'm a senior. I'm hanging out with lots of older people. So I'm, I, I'm leaving. My dad peels off two Hondos again. Here you go, money for dinner. And I knew I'm going to get some money because the last year my Uncle Bob's there and he goes, you know what? Have a good night. Here's another hundred bucks. And I'm like, all right. But now mom needs to know tomorrow. First off, what's the most important thing your parents want to see from prom? Because she didn't come to my house. Pictures. Pictures, oh, yeah, yeah. corsage. Yeah. So I, I leave in the tuxedo. I'm going to make it her downtown. Sure I am. We just go. We use the money to buy ecstasy and go out and party. <laughs> hey, Carl, yeah, here you go. So I, I forget about the picture. And then the next morning, I'm like, <laughs> we got to get a picture, Becky. So Maddie, we get Maddie to come over. And we put... I put back on my tux that I obviously carefully took off and hung up. You got to get the gay guy to take the picture. Or tux that I threw on the fucking floor when I put on my raver clothes. Becky puts on a dress. <laughs> we kind of get it together. Shut the fuck. <laughs> and Maddie takes a few pictures. My mother, I love you, Marianne, so much. She, pe- she took this picture. She put it in a frame, and it sat right next to the couch in the living room. Uh-huh. Forever in our house. So none the wiser because no one knew, and no one because Marianne's sharp. She's she, sharp, and I would look at it all the time and be like, if anyone thought about the time of day I should be taking this picture, they'd be like, "Good lord, it's bright outside." Because it was like eleven a.m., not seven p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lighting in the in the spring, and so it's. I mean, for years I would look and guilt. Then it would go. I was like, yeah, it's kind of funny. Finally, but my you know, I mean, if you know, know me, and my mother got. Metastatic breast cancer. She had to cancel three times. The last time we knew it was, it was a time limit, and we I moved back in with her, helped take care of her, and so we would we would drink some, and I eventually got her to eat some edibles to help with her pain. So one night, her third edible night, I'm high, she's high, I'm way higher. She ate like a bite of cookie. I've eaten like three, and I'm high as shit. And we're talking, and we, we're watching a movie. We start talking over it or whatever. She had a couple of chardonnays. I've had a few vodkas. I look at the picture and go, "All right, mom, I've got to tell you something." And I grabbed the picture. And she goes. Oh, you and Becky in prom. What a good senior picture. year. And I was you like, You were glowing. All right, Mom, I got to tell you something about this picture. Look at the lighting in this picture. It was obviously not taken at 7 p.m., it was taken at about 11 a.m. She's like, Wait, but you. And I'm like, Yes, yes, Mom. It was a farce the whole time. I didn't tell her what I did with the money, but I know. <laughs> but I was like, Look, I got the money. We went out and drank and had a good time. And we forgot about taking the picture until the next morning when Maddie reminded us. She's like, Maddie always coming through in the clutch. Oh, so uh, it was the truth, but not the whole truth. The whole truth. I couldn't tell her about that. Of course, yeah, of course not. But but it, it's nice to like. Yeah, but but the thing is, she goes, "I'm Maddie, always thinking about things." Because when I had my graduation party that year, all my you know, we are, most of us are graduating from high school, so half my friends are high school or a year older, and then Maddie and his boyfriend Joe and some of my older friends. Well, guess who gets there early on time, dressed very nice? Maddie and Joe. They're then they're you know they're twenty. Maddie's twenty four. Joe's like thirty. So they they show up early, well dressed, and not fucked up in any way, sort or form. Here comes the hooligans, me and my friends all stoned, probably had a few drinks from my graduation party. And the next day, my mom was like, we had a good time, but I'm really glad Maddie and Joe came. It kind of shows you what your friends can be if they try. Damn, uh. Maddie, Maddie took care of me. I don't know if I told the story about math, the math, the, uh, math meet thing. What's it called? Math club. I was in math club, and we had to have the, math, the, 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 the county math meet or whatever. And the night before, dumbass Clint went out and got drunk. <laughs> well, that math checks out. Am I right? Thank you guys for listening this week. Sorry it was so short. Listen, that was only a drop in the bucket of the Patreon stories that we tell. So if you want to subscribe, hear the rest of them in the full detail. It's patreon.com forward slash from behind the barcast. I will see you next week and maybe 